Hello students and learners at home and welcome to this wonderful section again where we're going to study mathematics. I am teacher Ogalanya Matthias Nadezie. I'm teaching mathematics and today we want to discuss number basis, the conversion of number basis. Number basis looks strange to children when they talk about number basis but these are the things we practice at home. Where you live there is a market there. In a week, we have seven days. We have Monday to Saturday or Sunday that makes it seven days that makes a week. We have the 12 months that formed a year. We have the four weeks or five that forms a month. If you go to the rural areas, they have their market days. In three days, in four days, in five days. Please ask me, ask mommy, help me ask mommy, which day is the market day? Of the nearest village where she goes to buy items and food items it could be in the next three days it could be in the next four days it could be in the next one week it all depends mommy knows this date and they operate based on this time after four days you go to that market and you cannot go to this market after three days because you will not see anybody there they are counting on basis of the number of days the market will operate so some are in three, some are after four days, some after one week. These are the basis of our counting. While we were in nursery school, we first learned how to count from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we joined one and zero and formed the last number, ten. These are the first natural numbers and the first base we had. Everybody started from writing one, two, three. I can remember. When you are learning how to write one, how you are learning how to write two, how you are learning how to write one and zero, ten. Because the teacher has to identify one and zero to form ten, the first base. At another stage, they start counting from eleven to twenty, and so on and so forth, depending on the speed of your understanding. These are bases. Nigeria is being colonized by a um, European country, in particular Britain. And they count in pounds. Watch, walk to the village market. Ask mommy, how does their own parents, their own parents count money those years? They arrange, arrange it in bundles and use one to wrap it. That is the basis at which they know. They don't count money like us these days that we use two fingers to count. They have their monies in bundles. And that is the basis they understand this money has been counted. Even today in banks, banks count their money in hundreds, except a, a, the currency is up to 100. No banker can put a rubber ring around it or a seal that shows that this is 100 pieces and they will seal it, stamp it and keep it aside. These are basis of counting. So when we talk about number basis, you don't, it's just like any other base and any other number which we can practice freely. The natural numbers we know and the numbers we start writing from day one we went to school is base 10. Nigeria budget is in base 10. The number of children in the house are in base 10. The one, two, three, four, we know how to count, they are all in base 10. Sometimes some numbers go without identification of this base. It means naturally that number is in base 10. For instance, how much is your school fees? 2,500, 10,000 naira. I don't know how much that pays, but that money has no base attached to it. It means naturally they are in base 10. So we are grown and brought up with number 10 as a natural number. But if there are other bases below 10, we need to identify it. But for now, the first expression we're going to have is to express the following base 10 to first base, which is base 2. Base 2 has two names. You can call it base 2, you can also call it binary. Binary is a language of 0 and 1. The laptop at home hears the language of binary. The stabilizer that is using beside, if you go to the stabilizer, you will see two symbols. The first symbol, the second one. This one symbol signifies on. In stabilizers, some switches at home. Zero is off. 
of which if you go to switch on or off your st stabilizer or any of the electrical appliances that had those symbols, you press one, whether they rate it off or not. Or if you want it to be off, you press zero. What shows is that this stabilizer, the computer you're using, does not understand English language. What it understands is the binary numbers. That's why in some laptops, before these new generation laptops and computers came up, you could be sitting down for two minutes waiting for a computer to boot. You send in a data like capital of Accra, you have to wait. You can go and drink water and come back while the, the system is bringing up the answer. What is it doing? It's converting the English words to binary, the language of the computer. And after the conversion, the answer will come in binary. The converter will convert it again back to English language so that you, who is using it, will be able to read. That is the binary language. The laptop, the, um, has the phones we are using, the calculators, all these electronics use computer language called binary. Now, how do we change the natural numbers we know and have base 10 to binary? And when you are changing it to binary or base 2, it means the language of the binary must not be more than one because they are all going to be under base 2. The first example we have is 32 base 10, changing it to base 2 or changing it to binary. And if you have to change it to base 2, it means we, you have to use 2 to divide. And because it is in base 2, the highest number you have is 1. 2 into 32 will give you 16, remainder 0. 2 into 16 will give you 8, remainder 0. 2 into 8 will give you 4, remainder 0. 2 into 4 will give you 2, remainder 0. 2 into 2 will give you 1, remainder 0. 2 into 1 will give you 0, remainder 1. And when you have zero, that is the end of the conversion, because no number can divide zero. And because two cannot divide one, it brings zero and take out one as a remainder. There is an arrow showing up. You count the numbers from up. That's why the answer here is one, zero, 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 page two. This is composite that you must indicate the base because you have changed it from the natural number 32 to a binary number. And this binary number is not pronounced like numbers in base 10. You are not supposed to call it 100,000. It is digitalized. You need to call it 100000 base 2. That is to convince anybody who is around you who wants to know that 32 base 10, when changed to binary, the language the computer understands is now 100000. And being a mathematics student, you can always pronounce 32 with 100000. You can put confusion in mix of others by changing your numbers that they understand into binary. You speak binary language. And that is what mathematics student does in the class. We can speak that language and every other person around us will be confused because we understand the code, but they don't understand the code. Now, 24 can also be changed from base 10 to binary. And 24, when divided, is changed to 11000. Zero, zero, zero. You don't call it 11,000. 24 can never be equal to 11,000. And that's why this base must be identified to interpret to anybody, including yourself, who will become your teacher by the time you are revising your note, that 24, having been converted through this division method, you will have 11000 base 2. This answer is irrelevant if the base is not there. Because the base is the only thing that shows that you have changed 24 into another category. And that category is the category of base 2. That is the same thing. If you want to change it, any other number like 99 base 10. If you want to change it, you are dividing by 2. I'm leaving this for you. You will do it. And at the end, I will bring up my own solution to see if it will have there is the same thing with me. So as I'm getting ready to um, guide us on how to convert other bases back to base 10, it's like somebody who traveled to, uh, maybe you went to church or mosque to pray, 
after the prayer, you must go home. You took a road home, and at the end, you also turn back to go home. Even if you go to your friend's house, you must go home. Now, there are numbers that are in other bases lower than 10, that you need to change it back to 10. Remember, this journey is between 10 and 2. At this level, 10 is the highest base, 2 is the lowest base. We can move from the lower base to 10. We can also move from the higher base to the lower base. 3, 2, which is the least. Now, the ex second example has a conversion of this 2 to base 10. What it means is that they are in a lower base. This is 1, 0, 1, base 2. And it will be uplifted to base 10. And in changing base 10 to a lower base, we divide it. In changing base 2 to a higher base, we expand. These are the two key things you need to take note of. In bringing 10 lower bases, you divide. The same application, if you want to change it to base 3, want to change it to base 4, want to change it to base 5, want to change it to base 6, base 7, base 8, base 9, it is through division method. You bring out the values, and that value must be in the base you are talking about. Here we are talking about 2. Now, this is in base 2, this is in base 4. And we want to change all of them back to 10. And we're using expansion. 101, remember, is not 101. This is 101, the computer language. Base 2. Each digit will multiply the base. There are three digits here, 1, 0, and 1. 1 times the base plus 0 times the base plus 1 times the base. The three digits each will multiply the base. And when they multiply the base, they have what we call pass. That is descending from the right to the, from the left to the right. Is descending. Power here is 2, followed by 1, followed by 0. Why did we start with 2? There are three digits, you start with 2. When there are four digits, you start with 3. When there are five digits, you start with 4. When there are nine digits, you start with 8. That's the reason why we start with 2. Then, 2 raised to the power 2 is the same thing as 2 times 2. And 2 times 2 gives you what? 4. This is automatically 0 because 0 times any number will give you 0. And in the law of indices, in mathematics, any number raised to the power 0 is equal to 1. It's an automatic value. And that is the reason why we have 1. Because 1 times 1, these 2 raised to the power 0 converted to 1 will give you 1. So 4 plus 0 plus 1 will give us 5 in base 10. You can tell anybody that 5 is equal to 1, 1, 0, base 2. Based on your explanation and the conversion, the person will get convinced. Look at the second one. 23 base 4. I call it 23. And it is, the number is supposed to be 2, 4. Don't call it 23. There are 2, 4. I can only call it 23 when it is in base 10. But now it is in base 4. You call it 2, 3. Base 4. Each number will multiply the base. 2 times the 4 plus 3 times 4. There are 2, so we start with 1. Power 1 and 0. 2 times 4, because 4 raised to power 1 is 4. So 2 times 4 gave us 8. This is raised to power 0. And any number raised to power 0 is 1. So 3 times 1 is 3. And adding the 2 gave us 11 base 10. I cannot call it proudly 11 base 10, because I've come back to home, where we have the natural numbers. So, this is how to elevate numbers that are in lower bases to base 10. Maybe in the next class, I will bring up how to do interchange from the lower base to another lower base. Base 2 to base 3, base 4 to base 5, not 2, not 10. They are in between. I ask you to do this. What is the answer? I want you to compare your answer to what I'm going to do now, if you are having the same thing with me.
Is that what you have? If it is, if it's what you have, then you are on the right track. But if it is not, where did you make the mistake? Please confirm and make sure you follow the steps I've given you. The remainder must be written at the right-hand side and count from the lowest to the highest so that you form your basis of two. Is that okay? I'm giving you an assignment now. An assignment will be done based on the idea I've given you. I will give you two questions, convert one to binary, and then from the lower base to base 10. Take note how, how I wrote my base. It must not be in the same line with this. It's forming a base, so it must be at the base. This is your assignment, and I hope you can do it well. Thank you, until we meet again, same station, same time. Bye. Thank you.